You are listening to The Bad Boy Radio Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is The Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. All right, what up, people? What's popping? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. Yeah. Bad boy of the dating game and Miles Cunningham. Miles, what's going on? I'm chilling. 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 You know, I, uh, you know I'm, I'm out here looking for a bitch to slap in the mouth with a dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> These niggas out here is too funny. <laughs> What's going on with you? <laughs> I'm chilling, man, chilling. You know, just trying to make shit happen all day, every day. You feel me? So, you know, that's what it is. But today we're going to be yeah. talking about the reality of online dating for men. Because, you know, it's it's a lot of shit that's going on out here, man. And it's it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So we're we going we gonna to go right. in today on that. And, you know, and I'm, I'm going I'm to give you guys some tips, too, of how to how to make shit a little bit easier for you. You feel what I'm saying? So we could get this shit going. Um, but before we get into all that, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to get into some news. All right. So you guys are listening to the bad boy show. Yo, you still ain't getting women. Really? Yeah. Come on, son. You need to go to badboymembership.com and step up your game. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. And I'm telling you that if you really want to attract beautiful women, you need to go to badboymembership.com. This is where you get 45 through 90 minute step-by-step dating advice tutorials every month. Just sign up, follow the advice, and you'll get the woman you want. Go to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com. Com. Introducing Ital Roots Jamaican Roots Drink, a perfect blend of health-enriching tropical fruits and naturally powerful male libido-enhancing herbs. Voted best tasting roots drink in the market and made from superior high-end holistic natural materials. The main ingredient in Ital Roots is Cheney Root, a well-known tropical aphrodisiac discovered in Jamaica for men with low energy or low sex drive. It's very high in iron content. This makes it excellent for cleansing and building up the blood cells wherever your body needs it. Buy on Amazon.com or Juice for Life Plus Com. That's juice, the number four life, plus.com. Do you have any personal dating issues that you need addressed right now? Dating and life coach Mr. Locario will help you with his 30 minute game session. The Mr. Locario's 30 minute game session is a private one on one coaching session on the phone or through Skype. For 30 minutes, you'll get answers to any dating questions you have. To set up your 30-minute game session, go to MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. You have one girl juggling five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dudes at the same time trying to get at her at the same time. You see what I mean? And so, since a lot of guys are too scared to, to meet chicks in person... Dudes be flooding the market on the online dating site. And a chick at any day can have like 50, 60, 70, 80 messages in just one day. You see what I'm saying? And so what happens is it creates this dynamic to where the women are gassed up and the guys are feeling insecure. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And that's that's what we, you know, and and, and that's that's the, the crazy part about the whole shit. Where women start to get this false sense of importance which makes them even more picky because this is what you got to understand. A woman is she's like, let's say she's talking to a guy, right? And she's like, yeah, he's, he's cute. He seems cool, whatever. Then what happens is, is that she's thinking to herself, well, he's cool, but oh, here's this next guy. Let me see what's up with him. And then she's like, oh, but here's this next guy. So she's always trying to one up and trying to get the best out of that situation. And so she continuously keeps getting right. newer and newer and newer and newer guys. And then it makes it difficult for that first guy who was trying to set something up to set something up in certain cases. You see what I'm saying? So so the guy that she chooses usually in most cases, like if you meet a girl on a, on a from an online dating site, that means that you were the best guy at the moment out of all the dudes that she was dealing with or, or trying to deal with. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, so right. she made the decision to come see you. Versus the other four guys who wanted to see her at the same time. You see what I'm saying? But see, what makes it difficult for, for, for guys is that it's so much 
uh, attention that the girls get, which gasses them up, which makes them in turn make it even more difficult for you. Because like even uh, we was offline earlier. Miles was saying, you were saying that you matched with some chick and he was like, all right, let me just uh, message her. And then she talking about, oh, uh, why don't we start with a hello or some dumb shit? Like she's trying to demand how the conversation's supposed to go. You feel what I'm saying? Right, it, right. It, and that happens a lot. And the reason why they do and, this is because, you know, right. they gassed up. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, just, just, it just for anybody wondering, I unmatched that bitch immediately. I did not even respond. I just, you know, I need I need niggas to know that because yeah, y'all niggas think that when I'm on here telling y'all, oh, you know, drop that bitch immediately, right? Like I don't practice what I preach, nigga. I don't what I preach. I don't I don't love none of these hoes. You feel me? <laughs> not not near one. Trust me. Because yo. You know, and and that's the thing, like, you get a whole bunch of chicks on there, because, like, I, I do the same thing as you, where I just send them that real quick message, like, yo, what's up, let's get together, get a drink. And then the chick will be like, right. she'll be like, uh, uh, can we start with a hello? And it's like, no, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. we're, no. we're good. Like, no, about, <laughs> exactly. Dog. Like, we're good. Or and, or you get the thing where the chick will be like, you know, um, Oh hey, can we can we talk on here more? And it's just like, oh God. And and and, and see, this is where the attention whore comes <laughs> in. Because they they, you know, Chicksy man, 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 man. Because chicks they they'll they'll do all of this stuff where they're like, you know, oh, let's talk here more because they they love the attention of being able to talk to guys back and forth to have all of this these groups of guys just messaging them and all this other stuff because women they they love non-sexual attention like see mm. for, for us our attention is we want the attention that's leading to sex you feel right. what i'm saying they want attention just because so online dating lends itself for women to get satisfaction just through the online dating site you see what mm. I'm saying? So that means they don't ever have to meet you. So you're going to go, you're going to, you're going, that's what makes it even more difficult because you're going through a large number of women who you may be talking to who have no interest in actually meeting you. Period. I remember right. we had a, we had a video, a thing the other day when a nigga was getting mad at me for calling niggas pussy, but right. this is, this is for, this is for all you pussy niggas. <laughs> this is for all you pussy niggas. And, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, like I'm, I'm a little bit guilty too because i I'm, I'm guilty of the same shit but what you pussy niggas don't understand and the reason why like let, let's get to why i'm calling y'all pussy niggas i'm calling y'all pussy niggas because y'all scared to go out and approach face to face right right you understand <laughs> right. that's what makes that's what makes you pussy and honestly like i said i do the same shit i don't i don't make the time to go out and meet chicks like i should you understand right. and just being honest just being honest because i am busy but the point i'm the point i'm trying to make is that i don't make the time you mm, understand right, so right. in this in this in this instance i'm taking full responsibility for my for my pussiness and for my lack of wanting to go out and meet chicks face to face because I, i'll meet chicks face to face but it's only in passing like you know if i'm doing a gig and i'm actually at an at an event and i'll meet and i'll holler at chicks face to face i'll do my approach right. so within the course of a month within the course of a month i'm still getting five to ten approaches you understand right. what i'm saying right right but pussy niggas Within the within the within the course of a month, y'all not get y'all not get y'all getting zero repro- approaches within thirty days. Why? Mm-hmm. Because all you want to do is sit online because you're looking for the pussy nigga way out. Right. Because you so because you think you think that the online shit should be easier. Mm-hmm. But I got news for you, pussy niggas. It's not. Mm-hmm. Real the shit. only, the only, the only thing, the only thing that's easy about online dating, Tinder and Plenty of Fish and uh, OK Cupid and Girl Meets Bagel and Bumble <laughs> and all that shit, is the convenience factor. Right, right. That's it. Because you get to sit there and use your fucking thumb. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing that makes it quote unquote easier. But it's not really easier. It's convenient. Right. And what do we know about convenience? What do we know about convenience? Convenience is the precursor to fucking, to, to a lack of progress. Mm. You understand? Mm. Convenience is a precursor to a lack of, of, pro, of progress. 
And also, to to it's it's crazy because uh 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 it's funny how on the front end it seems convenient, but on the back end it's always more difficult. Right. You understand right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Right. Because look at look at the 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 the, the idea of a credit card, right? Mm-hmm. Up front, up front, it seems convenient because you want to buy something. You ain't got you don't got the money, but you apply for credit and you can buy that thing now. But right. on the back end. You have something called interest. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So on the front end, a credit card is convenient, but on the back end, you end up paying two, three times more for that thing you bought. Right. You understand? Right. Exactly. So it so on the back end, it's the, the the difficulty factor is actually worse than if you had just saved up your money and bought your shit. You mm. understand what I'm saying? Right. 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 Now back now back to you, pussy niggas. You you think that you know. Working hard and, and leaving messages with all these chicks, right, is is easy. Mm. You understand? And yes, it is easy. It is easy to just come up with a fucking message and copy paste and send it to to fifty chicks. You know, you sit on your fucking phone for twenty to thirty minutes and you do that. Yes, right. it is easy. But let me tell you what happens on the back end. Mm. Let me tell you what happens on the back end, especially for you pussy niggas, right? Right. This is what happens to you to you unaware pussy niggas. You sit there and you all this quote unquote work, right? Mm. You only you and what happens is because of all the messages that you're sending out, you're adding to the delusion of these these uh, attention whores. Mm. Mm. And adding to the delusion of an attention whore only makes it harder for you in real life. Mm. If you ever get the courage. If you ever get the courage to actually go out and approach their delusion that you fueled through the constant messaging causes it to now be more difficult for you that you're face to face with this bitch because right. her delusion level and her entitlement level is so high. Right. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then for you for you seriously unaware pussy niggas with no confidence let me tell you what happens to y'all but and 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 i i know this because i've experienced it to a certain extent but but because i I understand certain things about the game i was able to recognize it quick and early but let me tell you what happens to the unaware pussy niggas right Right. with 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 less confidence or less self-esteem than a than a nigga like me for instance who just has a little bit more experience what happens to y'all is you don't realize that something like Tinder and all these other dating apps, it's a judge it's a, a, a superficial, shallow and fickle judgment judgment process. Mm, okay? Right. It's a superficial uh, uh, a, a, a superficial shallow judgment process. Okay? So what happens is you're seeing all these quote unquote attractive females. And you're trying to match with them, trying to match with them. And then when they don't match with you, because your confidence is already low, which is what's keeping you from going out and approaching in the first place in real life, you start to look at yourself and say, maybe I don't look good enough. Maybe I'm not attractive enough. Maybe I don't, I'm not, I'm not this and I'm not that. I'm only, I'm only, you know, I'm only five, six. So because I'm short, women are not going to match with me. And because I'm not good looking like Brad Pitt, they're not going to match with me. And because, you know, I, I'm not, I should, maybe I should take a picture with an, an expensive car and then maybe the girls will match with me. Maybe, maybe I should do a, a, a photo shoot or maybe I should do this or maybe I should do that to get more girls to match with me. Right? right. When the true issue is you. Mm. The true issue is you. Do you understand what I'm saying? But what happens is when you subscribe too much into the online dating, when you let the online dating world become your reality, you 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 end up uh, uh, falsely building up the confidence of the women, mm-hmm. and you and you also falsely detract from your own confidence. Mm, Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you see Facts. what I'm saying? So this is why, this is why, this is why, and I, and I want to make it clear, I want to make it clear that I'm not calling these niggas pussy niggas for nothing, because I'm saying I was one of those niggas until I actually was able to recognize the truth 
of the situation. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So I don't think I'm separating myself from nobody or I'm looking down my nose at any of y'all dudes. The point I'm trying to make is because because you have.